Hello, I'm so sorry for the technical difficulties that I had before. Welcome again to Joyful Caregiving Challenge, and I'm your host, Lily Leon. And today, today I'm just going to share with you about taking care of your heart. Yes, heart care. Yeah, you have to take care of your heart. That's something that we we don't see it so much in ourselves yes it is something that we all need to work through taking care of our hearts as we take care of our parents we can be very how can i say it that we have to be in tune with God, our hearts, and let God um, guide us through the process. And yesterday we talked about that you don't have no condemnation. Yes, you shouldn't have to feel guilt. And so often we just go back to it. And you find that we have guilt. I don't know if you hear it, but we have rain today. I was about to go out. Then my mom says not to go out and just to wait and wait and have lunch with her. And you know what? I said to myself, well, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to make this a big deal, although I didn't want to go out. I just decided that I'm just going to finish some of the work that I had to do and prepare a little bit for myself before I come in today to share with you. Yes, so I did that, and we had a very good lunch, and my mom was very happy. And today we have some potatoes. Yes, we have some stewed potatoes with, what do you call? Parsley, yeah, Italian parsley. It was very good. Very, very good. So I decided to please her. Yes, like when you are, I mean, my mom, she was cooking. <laughs> Yes, uh, what I can say, she is still able to do that. And I will let her do it. I definitely would do as long as she is able and she wants to. She wants to be in charge of that. And I let her. And she, well, she will say she doesn't like to cook. But whenever I cook, she doesn't really like it. Um, or she gets upset, or I did something that it was not exactly the way she wants, and sometimes I can get, I can get upset with my mom. I will say that I can get upset with my mom that everything that I do is not good enough for her, and if I'm not watching, I will be resentful. I will be resentful and. That will become bitterness if I'm not watching. So today I just let her cook, let her have her time to do that. And also right now it is raining. I mean, afterward, I, yeah, afterwards she wanted me to just go and do the shopping again. Mm -hmm. To buy something for home and see if there is more papaya, fresh papaya. But right now it is raining. I don't know if you could hear it, but I can hear it very clearly. And I know sometimes it will be recorded. So I just wanted to warn you about that so you don't think that it is something, something, some noise that is around, but it is rain. It is raining right now. That's what I want to do say that 
so this is something that I am I am good and I mean I'm really good and glad that that um uh, that I can share here with you and over little things like that we can make little things into a big mohill yes we can make it into something very very big and be all upset about it and be just upset and turning all over that again and again and feeling like uh, like like my voice is not taken care of and sometimes you have to do things for your parents where how can I say it like for them it is something that they I mean for your parent they will say this is, needs to be done right now I want it to be do it right now it can be a little bit overwhelming to want to do what she wants and do it in a flash like that yes it is not easy and if you are a caregiver for any any time could be months to years you will know that sometimes it can be very overwhelming We had to kind of guard our hearts about it and protect it with scriptures. Yes, I will say that I started to memorize a little bit more of scripture this past few days, and it does help. I mean, I do start out my day spending time in His Word and having um, a time of devotional and prayer with God sometimes we just have to pour our hearts to God and let him fix us and I mean and we also do the fixing as well we have to go to him and take all the difficulties all the all the challenges and frustrations that we have first of all to him so he can mend us and fix us as he as he see fits when i pour out my heart to god and and let him know that this is how i'm feeling this is what i'm facing and I just can bring all of that to him bring it all to him and I know he can take care of my heart and he can take care of my needs and we had to ask I mean I had to ask God to enlarge me and my heart in how I serve my mother and and throughout the process that during the process I will learn to to be more Christ-like yes the end goal of our caregiving actually is to be more Christ-like and there are some aspects in which in which um My camera is not, yeah, I'm using a, this is not a, this is not my phone, but I'm using the webcam, yeah, but sometimes it will get blurry. Yeah, we, I have to let go of the little things that annoy me 
that my mom does and not to be like going but heading towards her but actually let go of those little um, nuisances and uh, things that really they can get to your skin like rather have a heart of where you are willing to talk things through with your parent and and try to resolve it if they still have their mental capacity. Yes, if they have the mental capacity. I know that some people who have not had a very good relationship with, with their parents when they were younger, and it makes it even harder for them to be in this caregiving season. And, and they do it because they want to uh, serve and love their loved one. Mm. Yes, my mom is telling mm. me that it's raining. Uh, hold on a second. Mom is calling me. Well, sorry the interruption. Mom wanted to know the time. There's one thing that I don't know if you face this, but my mom gets very obsessed with the time. She does. And she's like, every single minute she wants to, to see and what time it is. What time it is? I know that uh, not not all of you face the same situation like me, or you might have a different situation but similar type. I would say that in the beginning was a lot harder. Okay, for my mom. It was not like it is today. I did not know how to do it. I actually had to learn to come up with a system to help me to do this, to be more in control of my emotions and, and provide better care for my mom. Yes. And also, I have to take care of myself. That's another point that I need to touch and address. We need to take care of ourselves. There's no way around it. No matter what you do, what you are an expert on. I know it is not something easy. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. It will not be so. I already know that. I do want to say I need to get some water. I am getting dry. And I've been talking a lot. I think now you can hear the rain. It's raining really heavily right now you will hear it just give me one minute I am back. I'm here drinking water.
Yes, I do feel much better now that I drink some water. We haven't had rain in a long, long time. But today is rainy and also it makes it makes everything much cool. It's not as hot as it is. Uh, this is something that I didn't really talk about. It is sometimes, sometimes we have to learn to apologize to our parents if we have not a good attitude towards them or on this side there's not, not having a good They have some, I mean, I will continue. They have some difficulties with the, what do you call, with the stream on Facebook. Yeah, so what I wanted to say is that sometimes, um, we need to be able to forgive our parents. I mean, well, yeah. I don't know how to say that, but we have this thing. Give me one second. Yeah, so uh, I'm sorry for that. I have to let them know that I'm having some trouble with the stream. Sometimes we find it hard to forgive those who didn't forgive us. I mean, didn't, have, didn't apologize to, to you or to me. Yeah, so something that we need to work through. Like, it is a good thing for you and your parent to pray together. Uh, yeah, we, I will do that with my mom sometimes. And she will be more, less fussy. You, I will say that when you pray with them. And I usually let her pray. That's what I do. 
because I don't know how to pray in Chinese. I'm gonna say that I don't know how to pray in Chinese, and she find it very hard when I pray. She she find it that I am not saying things the right way. So I just let her pray. I said, "Okay, mom, I let you pray, and and let her pray. That's what I do." After coming out of the prayer, she's more, she's more relaxed and feeling better about it. That I let her be and let her pray and let her be in control. Sometimes we just can't be so argumentative or trying to get control over over everything as well. And sometimes you just have to let your parent take. The lead, the charge for it. And there is another thing that they are sharing when I was doing my study today. It is that sometimes you just have to let them. Uh, I mean, you have to ask them for forgiveness if it was your part. If it was for them, um, you can also. Well, they were suggesting something strange about that, and well, not strange, but I'm not very familiar with that. Uh, another area of. In which we can be very feeling very guilty is that if we are under so much, but so much stress, that we wish that our parents die, and that's very that's something very bad to to think. And that comes with a lot of guilt. I would say that when my mom was in the worst, worst、um, time for her, in her worst time, in her not good days, I will confess that I thought of it. I kind of thought of that, but then my heart. Smote me and said, "No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't think that way because that's not the right thing to do." Yes, that should not be the right thing to do or think, because the only one who is in charge and in control of life is God Himself. And I'm not gonna be playing God and decide when my mom will be around or not. While she's still around, I can be grateful to have her with me and see that as a blessing and a privilege, just like I have been sharing with my friends. Yes, you can see that as a privilege. A blessing, yeah. I'm looking at the note. There is no easy way, no easy road for the caregiver. We have to be guarding our hearts, asking God to help us. Sometimes you can have very good days with your parents, and sometimes you will not have very good days with your parents. And I have experienced that myself.
And even in the darkest moment, God can step in of your caregiving situation. It has been, to say, not an easy road. Actually, it has been with a lot of difficulties. Difficulties in every sense and every way. We can choose how to live. Or either we live a life to be with God and be rely on Him and also allow Him to bring us back if we have any any anger, any depression, any anything like that. You will have to need to have a, an open heart where you are there to serve your loved one. That you are in this situation serving someone who has um, health, de health decline in their lives, especially your parents. You can... You can become, yeah, you cannot become uh, close hearted. Once you're close hearted, it is so hard to serve. You, you should have a open hearted for God to serve Him. When we spend time, well, yeah, more time to be with our mother, when we, when we have a family member who is not really the same like us, or they have some difficulties, it can be very difficult. To do any work life, business life around them. And this is what I learned from Dana. He said, remember to pray together forgiveness for the two of you. We have to take care of our, we have to take care of our offenses. If we don't take care of our offenses, I mean, our wrongdoing, it's not going to help anyone. Yes, it will not. Actually, you become like burden. A lot of people will say you shouldn't feel that way and wishing ill on your parents. But from time to time, you just can't help it or even control it or anything like that. And it becomes where sometimes your friends and family will just keep criticizing you.
I'm just reading. Uh, there is a passage I want to share with you. Psalm 25, 17. The troubles of my heart have multiplied. Free me from my anguish. And take my thought of death captive. Oh. Let me just read to you. Psalm 25, 17. Yes, like sometimes you just have to to think about that, about these verses, Psalm 25, 17, which is really good. Just going to go over. Psalm 26, 2, I mean 25, 17, it says, The troubles of my heart have multiplied, free me from my anguish. And then take any thought of death captive as instrument in 2 Corinthians 10, 5. One thing that I, I was trying to mention is that you had to talk to your parents early about how you, I mean, how they want to be very in which place and what they want that to say and the lapid and and the place that will be the burial place all of those things are necessary but you can also do that without it as well without sharing with you uh, a doctor or whatever Whatever they, they say, they can be. Sometimes we just have to rely, rely on God's strength and help him, I mean, and help, ask him to help me to be a good caregiver for my mom. I know that Mexican food uh, but yeah we have to ask God to multiply me and free me from my anguish I would, I would like to have that a long time ago if that was the case and we can draw on the grace of God. And I don't have to be worried about it at all. I'm sorry if, I'm sorry if I don't I have not been like sharing you with a lot of verses. I think you have enough information by now in a way especially especially now
We should ask God to help us to examine our hearts and see if there was anything wicked, if we uh, have uh, that you will be able to have a soft heart and overflowing with love for your parents and be able actually to enjoy your parents. A lot of times going to church, mostly that people are not very They're not really um, looking or searching to to do mentorship with someone. I was there too, not long ago. But I decided that I wasn't going to stay in that little. I wanted to do a website too. It is something that we all learning how to do that. It's another place, another psalm. Um, it says here, my flesh and my heart have failed me. There is another good verse as well. It is my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. So on Psalm 73, 26, it says, My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. So can you imagine that you are not doing this alone and God will give you the strength and um, it's so often that we have to ask ourselves um it is it is a great relief to know that god is our strength whether we are the caregiver or not Don't you think that God can strengthen your body and health today? When God it becomes my strength, caregiving is not as difficult, but I recognize that not everyone I'm just going to ask you how God is strengthening your heart, how God is directing your heart, like you were doing in one direction. Of the these pages. Mm. Now we have more, a little more noise. But you can comment in the chat. You can write whether I share with you 
it is a one or two. I mean, one is not very good, a ten is excellent. You can let me know what you think about what I shared today. Mom, right now she is sewing. We have to ask God to Psalm 26 to test me a lot and try me, examining my heart and mind, and ask the Lord to soften your heart when it needs and to fill it with love to your favorite. I mean, as we can have that joyful moment with our parents. It is a from day to day basis. It is not like you are figure out everything and you don't need any new learning or encouragement for others. Actually, you learn more when you are in a program I'm doing, I mean, that I am doing right now, the joyful caregiving challenge is something that I wanted to have it as a gift to you and other part um, yeah we can love our parents without being forceful or being trying to to them and say that I am right and they are wrong. And that's not the right way to approach your parent. Actually, it will make it very hard, the relationship. And in sharing this right now about, okay, giving, I hope it makes sense for you. I mean, I was going to the doctor and other, um, Places to go, but I didn't really find answers. Yeah, I didn't find my answers. You want to be Yeah, just let me know and don't forget tomorrow we will have another episode for joyful caregiving challenge and yes you can have joyful caregiving moments with your parents no matter what your situation you will find that you will have those moments even with my mom sometimes she will she will say something or I'll say something and we both will laugh at each other because it was something very funny or we just were enjoying ourselves and each other's com company, just having a meal together. And that's something that your parent will really appreciate about that. They will. And thank you so much for tuning in today and don't forget you can comment you can um if you know someone who need this you can share with them and and i thank you for being here i'm so grateful And look for the homework. I will post the homework today. It won't be way too too much, but I will post it. It will be something that it will be well. It was. It's not. It's not as easy to share our feelings. I mean, yeah, you can write it down in a note and share it on your note about it. 
ये जो आर यस इट सीम्स लाइक द रेन स्टॉप राइट नाउ एंड लेट मी सी इफ आई कैन गो एंड कैच टू बाय सम पपायस टुडे थैंक यू आई विल टॉक टू यू लेटर अनव Okay bye